Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. Now, in this episode we are talking about Chianti and specifically Chianti Classico. I am Dietmar Ostermann, I'm your host tonight and yes, I am that regular guy from Long Island. So, talking about Chianti, why Chianti? Why Chianti Classico? Well, Chianti is the number one wine in Italy. It comes out of the Tuscan region and it's made by this fantastic grape, the Sangiovese grape. I call it also the best value wine because typically you get a very good Chianti for about $20. And even the most expensive Chiantis, good Chiantis, you can buy for under $30. So let me share some of those with you tonight. The region stretches from uh, Florence in the north to Siena in the south. And it's like an oval area. The main region, Chianti, is maybe 40 miles long, maybe 20 miles wide. And then within Chianti, you have the specific subsection of what is called Chianti Classico. And when you drink Chianti wines, I'd like you to select the Chianti Classico or the Chianti Classico Reserva. Now, what's up with that? Well, the Italians in the Chianti area are differentiating between four levels of Chianti. The regular Chianti that typically has to be sitting in oak for about three months. The Chianti Superiore, one step up. The Chianti Classico, two steps up, that has to sit for at least seven months in oak. And then the Chianti Classico Reserva, that has to age for two years, most of it in oaks. So I want you to select Chianti Classicos or Chianti Classico Reservas if you can. The Sangiovese grape that we will experience here tonight is different from the Nebbiolino grape that we talked about before when we discussed Barolo, certainly different from all the grapes that we are harvesting in the US and California. So the Sangiovese grape is really black cherry in color, and it's really the number one grape in Italy. About 10% of all the wine plantings in Italy are Sangiovese. Let's jump into these wines. I have for you top four Chiantis. What I have for you in store is two 2015 Chiantis and two Chiantis from 2013. Both of those were very good years, but Chianti wines you drink young, they typically don't last longer than 10 years. So a 2013 is at its age limit. The 2015 should be at its prime right now. So we will see as we are tasting them. So I'm gonna grab this bottle right here. It's a Capinetto. Capinetto 2015 Chianti Classico Reserva. So let's open this baby up. I brought for the occasion my Italian masterpiece of equipment opener that I acquired at the Wine Museum in Barolo. Precision Italian masterpiece of engineering works every time. So all Italian wines, particularly Chianti, benefit from further oxidation. So I'd like you to uh, acquire a decanter. Maybe you get a simple one for 20 bucks. It will do the trick. So let's fill this in. I can already see the nice color. It's this cherry red color that I talked about earlier. Okay, let's pour some in the glass. My wine tastings are four steps. In the first step, we look at the color. Beautiful color. It's a dark, dark cherry red. Has nice lines in the glass, nice legs as I refer to them. We're gonna also judge a little bit the bottle. Classic 
Chianti Classico bottle, dark glass with a beige label, and it does have the black rooster on here. Well, what's about the black rooster? The black rooster is the Gallo Nero, and all Chianti Classicos, or better, have the Gallo Nero on them. So second step of the process is uh, sniffing the wine, enjoying the aromas. This one has beautiful legs. Oh, clearly cherry. A little bit of a sour cherry aroma. Okay. Now the third step is actually tasting the wine. And for that, we give it a whirl. Beautiful. It's a mouth full of fruit, biting, elegant cherry fruit. Very beautiful. As I anticipated, this wine is at its prime, drinks very well right now. It has a nice lingering finish um, that is not uh, indicating too much tannins. So the wine is really, really, really right right now for drinking. So. Vivino gave this wine a 3.9. I'm leaning probably to a 4, maybe even a 4.5, or somewhere in between. It's a great wine. $23, ladies and gentlemen. $23 for the 2015 Capinetto. Okay, let's move on to the next one. We pour away this wine, and we open up the second contestant. Now the second contestant, I have to tell you, is a very, very special wine. Here we're gonna, the cork goes into my cork owl. So this wine right here is a Chianti Classico Reserva as well, Viticcio. Viticcio, 2015. Now I never had this wine before, but I can tell you already in advance, 4.1 Vivino rating, and Wine Spectator, the Bible magazine for the wine drinkers, rates this wine 95 points out of 100. And it is legendary $29, ladies and gentlemen, $29. So let's open this up. So this one I'm decanting into the Videl crystal. This color looks different than the Chianti Classico Reserva we just tasted. It looks a little cloudier. So you may have seen me doing this before. I don't wash out the glasses. Water oxidize, water interacts funny with the wine. So I take the next wine to flush out the glass and the previous wine. So let's fill this up and give it a good look. Okay. Beautiful legs. Dark color, a little bit more garnet. A little bit more like a Barolo would look as opposed to a Chianti with that cherry red. All right, sniffy sniff, step two. Deep aromas. Not as in your face as the first wine, more elegant. All right, let's give it a whirl. Fantastic. Sour cherry in the mouth, blackberry in the mouth. This wine, I can easily see benefiting from another year or two in the bottle. Whereas I would say the the Capinetto was perfect drinking age right now as a 2015. The finish is not as long, not as lingering as the Capinetto. It's a little bit more intermediate and harsh, and you can, in the finish, uh, feel and uh, taste the tannins. All right, let's pull this away. Now for contestant number three and four, they're older, they're 2013s, they do need an hour of decanting. So in all fairness, I opened them up half an hour before we started to film this show. Let's go with 
the Castello di Bassi, Chianti Classico. This one is not a Reserva. So the two Reservas were at least two years aged. This one, as a Chianti Classico, has to be aged seven months in oak. Let's give it a try. First, we are pouring out the glass again with the new wine. Okay, the color is more see-through, not as dark as the two previous wines. Beautiful though, beautiful firing, sparkling in the light. The legs are not as prominent as the legs of the first two. I can definitely taste some cherry, dark cherry. All right, let's give it a whirl. Excellent. Now this wine, I was afraid a 2013 may be a little bit old and it may be, but in the mouse, top-notch developments of cherry fruit, a little bit of a bite, a little bit of an abrupt finish, but excellent overall. I would give this wine easily a 4.0 on Rivino as well. I'm very pleased with it. The finish is a little bit abrupt, but uh, boy are these strong contestants. So I'm going to pour this away and we're coming to our final contestant. Now the final contestant I have a personal story with. This is um, the Il Grigio, Chianti Classico Reserva from the famous San Felice Vineyard. Now my family and I stayed at the San Felice Vineyard when we were in Tuscany because there's a Relais and Chateau Hotel attached to it and we took a lot of these Il Grigios uh, home with us. Uh, so let's see, I'm pouring out the glass first with the wine. And now the Il Grigio 2013 Reserva. Dark color, very good looking. Nice big legs. This will be another great wine, I think. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Definitely some uh, black and red fruit. I'm thinking black cherry, some blackberry. Let's give it a whirl. Another excellent contestant. And this wine I've been drinking for ever. So I'm, I know that's a consistently good wine almost every year. But 2013 was a very special year in Chianti. So was 2015. And 2016 was again a good year. So if you can get yourself some Chiantis, get yourself some 2015, 2016, you probably can't find 2013 anymore. And remember to buy Chianti Classico or Chianti Classico Reserva. So this wine, as excellent as it is, I have to say, my lineup is the first one we tasted first. The uh, Capinetto is my favorite. The second one is the Castello di Bossi. Uh, the third one is the um, Il Grigio. And very, very good, but uh, I think not ready yet, is um, the, fourth, oh, the second wine that we drank, the Viticcio. And once again, in terms of ratings, the Capinetto was 3.9 on Vivino, the Viticcio was 4.1, the Castello di Bosso, Bossi 3.8, and the Egregio 4.0. Egregio, by the way, 21 dollars. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the show for tonight. Please follow me on Vivino. I'm a heavyweight on Vivino. And if you like this show, please like it and subscribe. Thank you very much.